Hi, good morning, Mr. and Riot here. How are you all doing? A.K. Hannah Sadowski. Yep, yesterday I went for my Big Brother audition in Manchester. I did get through from thousands, tens of thousands of people to obviously be there and have that experience. One which I never, ever want to live again. Reason being, people, it's official. I am actually normal. Um, one of the questions they asked me was, we're in a big circle and I can't obviously disclose how they do their auditions because I wouldn't do that but the question they asked me was what would you do if you had to eat 24 Mars bars and we took your trainers off you for say a week well yeah I think you could run on the garden barefooted and get an injury or would I be tempted to go to the toilet and throw it all that up and they pushed on a few of the buttons of my eating disorder and it made me realise that even though I said to them, yeah, 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 I'd be fine, I have my housemates, they'd help me through it. I have the disorder, I have a condition and I have to manage that condition and there's no way that I would ever want to put myself in a position where I felt I was full of anxiety, I was frightened, I was scared, I got no one to draw from for support. And to somebody with bulimia nervosa um, that I have got, the, the journey and the progression that I have embarked on the past probably 12 months of my life has been absolutely incredible. I've come over so many different hurdles. You know, for me, 12 months ago, you know, I was running around, I was manic, I was full on promotions, full on modeling, full on this, full on that. My eating was all over the place, I've just eating sweets and nothing else. And since me calming my life down, me obviously going to university, building my online affiliate site that's going to go live end of April. Um, I've managed to sort of eat in people's company and I'm really starting to enjoy it and I'm very lucky that I've got such a good strong support network there that know me and know my how I eat and know that I can keep a meal down quite happily you know my bulimia is only accelerated when I'm put into stressful situations and you know could you imagine being locked in a house for 12 weeks not seeing your son not seeing your friends your family and people that I know that I can actually eat meals with and be really content. You know, there are a few people in my life currently at the moment that, you know, will make me dinner and will help me out. And I really enjoy all this. I've always been a feeder. I like to cook. I do. But for me, if I'm left, I was left alone in the kitchen, I would use that as an opportunity for me to go and eat those and those and then go and binge and be sick. As now I feel quite in control and quite happy with my life so i'm going to touch on something else this morning so and what i'm going to touch on is i had a, an email last week actually i know it wasn't it was a private that's right it was a facebook post from a friend of mine that's involved with a charity called journeys of hope and very funny this morning she's put a post on it on facebook what would you choose i've got all of, that's my neighbors actually i've got a bottle of um of, of shiraz and some trainers now I seem to manage to combine the two okay on the odd occasion I can have a glass of red wine and then still go for a job the next day however what's your trigger you know would you choose to get yourself absolutely smashed or would you choose to go out and take your aggression out on the road well something that I want to touch on this morning is PD so PND which is postnatal depression and there is a fantastic organisation that's just been formed by a, my friend and a few of her contacts, which is called Journeys of Hope. And postnatal depression affects one in 10 women. It is not a myth. It is not something that, oh, I feel awful. I can't do it. It's, it's not. It's a real condition. And it's been clinically diagnosed as a real condition. And you do need to go and get help for it. It's a chemical imbalance in the brain. And, you know, with a little bit of support and help and help from the GP, you can get yourself back on track. But, of course, for the PND sufferers out there, I, of course, want to endorse fitness and health. You cannot beat going out for a walk. You can't beat going out for a run. Take your baby, embrace the fresh air. It's a beautiful day, as you can see in North Wales today. Get yourselves out there and, and do some fitness. You know, it's a big step when you have a baby. I was there, 15 stone I was but I knew I had to get the weight off. I knew I wanted to make myself feel, my inner self feel better. So I did take those steps and I got myself my baby jogger and off I went for a run. Now, when you have a baby, you are left with battle damage. I don't care what anybody says, whether it's mental, physical, 
emotional. There's always something there that makes you feel a bit frightened and a little bit insecure about yourself. And if you have a cesarean, okay, there's one thing I'm going to say this to everybody this morning, okay? Now I've got quite a, I'm quite slim because of course I do train a lot. But you can see here, there's my section scar and there's like an overhang of skin there. Now that is because they cut through your transverse abdominal okay and yeah exercise and fitness helps 100 percent, but it never really really completely goes so whenever i used to do sort of sheets and things i would always make sure it were quite i always used to ask for quite high sort of fun based underwear you know it does change you and you know pnd is something that you know does sometimes go on unrecognized as well you know look around you do you think you've got a friend that's suffering with pnd there are lots of charities out there that are happy to help you and happy to support to get you back on your feet but if you if i was you i would go into facebook and i would like the charity journeys of hope it is um something definitely that um you know that can't go unrecognized and it's all little fits isn't it as a woman you know you want to feel good you want your husband or boyfriend to fancy you, you know, and then you've got this baby. So why not get out there, do some fitness, talk to friends. It's not all about sitting in play barns, having cups of tea. You know, sometimes it's, it's actually just good to go out and see that lovely, lovely sky and, and, and feel good about yourself. So like Journeys for Hope on Facebook and let's see whether they can do anything for you if you are a sufferer. And um, so, as for me today, yep, I'm road testing another Triumph bra today. And Rachel, if you can hear me this morning, I will run the Chester Half Marathon for your Journeys of Hope. So maybe we can have a little chat later on. Take care, everybody, and have a great day.